The last of autumn has fallen off the trees, and the frost has chained grass to brown. The air is brisk and cold. For a long time, the season changes from autumn to winter. In the northern parts of our country, it begins to snow. Where Jerry and Jane live, the first snow usually falls early in December. Some of the snow has melted on the roof of the house. Drop by drop, the melted water has been frozen into icicles by the cold air. Jerry and Jane are waiting for their father. He promised to take them to choose a Christmas tree this afternoon. Jerry'd like to make a snowman, but the snow won't stick together. It's too dry, too powdery for packing, but it's good for sledding. Jerry has a sled. He and Jane are going to get it. Jane runs into the garden. How barren it looks. The stems and leaves of many plants die in winter, but the roots go on living in the soil all winter long. Some plants in this garden were covered for the winter. Paper or burlap keeps the plants protected enough even during the coldest weather. The seeds in this seed pod will survive the winter. And so will the buds on the lilac bush. Jerry knows that there are tiny leaves inside these buds. Next spring, when it gets warmer, leaves will sprout from these buds. Jerry! Jane! It's time to go for the Christmas tree. Sparky wants to come along. Why not? Jane will hold on to his leash so that he will stay with them. Down the block, Father pulled Jane and Jerry to the Christmas tree market. Christmas trees are always green. That's why we call them evergreens. They do not lose their leaves in winter. Needles are leaves for spruce and pine. There are many kinds of Christmas trees here. Jerry likes the spruce tree. Jane likes the tall pine with long needles. Jerry, Jane, and Mr. Frank settle on this one. It's fun to choose your own Christmas tree. It's only four days to Christmas. Today is the shortest day of the year, which is the real beginning of winter. But for the children, it has been winter ever since the first snow fell. Now it's January. The sun never climbs high in the sky in January. It's almost noontime, but see how long the shadows are. It has been snowing hard all night. A path must be cleared from the house to the street. That's a chore for boys. Sparky's out looking for adventure. His sharp eyes spot some hungry birds searching for food under the snow cover. Most birds fly away to the south for the winter. Sparky also spots some rabbit tracks. Many animals sleep in winter, but rabbits come out of their burrows to look for food. 
Will Sparky go after the rabbit? Jerry's whistle calls Sparky back to the house. Homework's all done. Jane and Jerry would like to go out to play. The snow on the branches has turned the garden into a winter fairyland. Jane wonders if this is a good day to try out her new skates. This is a very cold day outside, but the air is fresh and dry. Mother says it will be all right for Jerry and Jane to go out to play, provided they dress warmly. Jane in her snowsuit jacket, and Jerry in his old fleece line jacket, which is still good enough for sledding. Because the air is very cold, the water spread over the school playground became so cold that it turned to ice. Here, Jane and her friends can skate safely. But where children skate on ponds, they must make sure the ice is thick enough to support them. At the edge of the park where a road has been closed off for safe coasting, Jerry enjoys his favorite winter sport. There he comes down the slope again, and Sparky too. What fun they have. Here comes Jane to pick up Jerry so that he can pull her home on his sled. But Jerry's not yet ready to go. The sun is setting quickly and Jane's shadow is getting longer. This morning, Jane learned why the shadows are long when the sun is low in the sky. Can you tell why? In the cold air, Jane can see her steamy white breath. Once more down the hill, and the boys will be ready to go home. Another month has gone by. It's February now. The days are gradually getting longer, but it's still cold. The snow is falling hard today. fireplace feels cozy on cold and wet days. What a good to pop some corn. Jerry and Jane have been doing some pictures for school. Jane has been drawing a snowman. Like it, Jerry, she asks. Snowman, says Jerry. Let's go out and make one. Jane wants to see how cold it is. The thermometer reads 32 degrees. That's just cold enough for the water to freeze. In the sun, the icicles will probably melt. But the days are still too short to warm the air and the earth enough to melt away all the snow. Packing snow is heavy. Jerry is struggling with a really big snowball. It will make a fine base for the snowman. And here he is, a snowman for Jerry and Jane. A carrot for his nose and a stick for a mouth, and some charcoal for his buttons and eyes, and a straw hat. Isn't he a funny snowman? The sky has completely cleared, and the sun feels warm. Jane says it's getting to be too warm for our snowman. Look at the snow melting all around. Soon winter will be over. But the children don't mind it. Jerry and Jane are beginning to wish that it would be spring again. 
And it will be spring next month, in March.